What up, family? Fort Worth Fabian back again with a video for the channel. I'm actually doing a reaction to Ewu body cam. We got, <coughs> excuse me, when crooked, crooked cops realize they've been caught. Hey, we, we know it happens, man. Cro crooked cops do exist. We know they're out there. So <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram, all my socials, man. Fort Worth Fabian. Uh, check out my Ewu Explore With Us playlist. Link provided in the description as well as pinned in the comment section down below. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Let's not waste time, man. Crooked cops is crooked cops. We know exactly what they are. <laughs> what else do we need to explain, man? The following shocking footage of constables looting a home was captured by an officer who thought she'd turned her body camera off. Okay. Put him in my shirt. Hold on. Hold on. He said about last night. <laughs> this, nah. Sure would hate to sanitize it. Now this is low, bruh. Your whole duty is to protect and serve. And you caught yourself on camera committing these acts right here. <laughs> it's got to be very unfortunate for you. Oakley Masters. She just pocketed some Oakleys. Stupid ass boy. She pocketed a few it was watches. was January 26th, 2021, when an already terrible day got even worse for a family in Smith County, Texas. Not only were they being evicted from their home, but it would later be revealed that some of the constables... It just had to be Texas, huh? It just had to be Texas, huh? Ah. Enforcing the eviction were secretly removing items from the residence for themselves. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, don't come down here. Let me see. Hello. Sad, man. Despicable. Look at you. Take a good look at yourself. Low. I became a sperm donor with cryos and I That's sad man. I'm pretty positive these folks are no longer a part of the force or working. Um, but man, that's sad, that's low. And you know, one can only think or imagine what happens off camera when body cams are turned off. This just happened to be a situation to where they were dumb enough to not realize and we got you red handed. Put him in my shirt. She said, put him in my shirt. Hold on. Oh, we got some cocaine. Oh. Yeah, everything in here. So. This can go from here. You see that box, right? Yeah. We set that on that dresser. What's this? Uh, a box. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. You got this bong. Mm -hmm. What is this? Some. Clip some. Gun. A stinger, maybe. Go for it. No, it's a clip. Well, actually, it's not a clip, if we're going to get technical. It's a magazine, but technicalities seem to be the least of their concerns right now. To a gun? Yeah, it's a ruby. Okay, this is some more bullets. Um, yeah, sure. These guys don't seem to be the brightest. Too bad of it. Hold on a minute. 
The officers in the footage you just saw are Curtis Trailer Harris and LaQuinda Banks. Damn. Their impromptu shopping Full spree is interrupted by the tenant's 17-year-old daughter, who was alone at the house with a friend when the officers arrived. Next steps is just kind of move everything out. Is that like, yeah, do we need to just step out? Do we need to stay yeah, in? What is yeah. it? Do do? They're going to move everything out. Mm -hmm. But before they leave, the locks will be changed. So okay. get get your purse. Yep. Like just get all like personal belongings that we're gonna need right now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. Because everything is gonna be right here. Like you said, I'm sorry. She's just 17. I'm just her friend. No. Just, oh no. Kind of confused on what was going on. They're trying to be it's all cool. With yeah. that handled for the. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is exactly what we need you to do, ma'am. And by the way, grab that while you're at it. We're just doing our job here. Everything's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like, she really playing the part. She's really trying to play the role. Yeah, this is all we need from you, ma'am. Here to protect and serve. Show a lame ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't see how people can keep such a straight face. For the time wow. being, the constables return to what's really important here. Hiding their loot. Where they choose to store it is not only shocking, but incredibly bold, considering how many eyes are on them. Hi, open your, um, open, I need to go in your car for a minute. Sure. I need to go in your car for a minute. Yeah, yeah thank you so much. Let's put some in there. Please, sir. I have to put some in there. Oh. It's okay. I'm good. What you doing? Put in the I can leave it Just sit in the drill seat. Hmm? Sit in the drill seat and take it. Okay. It seems like the other constable almost notices that his colleague's body camera is still on. So close. But even after inspecting it, he doesn't catch on that every five finger discount is being recorded. Though they don't know it, this miscalculation will eventually come back to bite them. Huh? All right. Let's crash it. Oh, he got that. <laughs> Tell me you slow without telling me you slow. He said, oh, we good, we good. <laughs> we in that thing. Depending on the situation, officers can sometimes have legal grounds to remove items from a house during an eviction. For example, if the owner is present and there's no criminal offense being investigated, there could be grounds to remove some of the tenant's personal property from the rental. In this case, however, it seems like all they're taking are items with some monetary value. Given the context so. of their conversations, these actions have no legal rationale. This doesn't stop LaQuinda from unloading her entire haul into her colleague's back seat. Then she makes the bold decision to go back into the house for a second round of acquisitions. Significantly, she is still recording. I put all that, all that in Derek's uh, car. Okay. Yeah, I know. Still yeah. the cocaine. They want they can come in and start moving. Remember that name, Derek. The question of his involvement will become important later. That's her first look at this. Exactly this point, it happening. doesn't seem as if there is any reason they have established probable cause to search the purse, nor any consent from the purse owner. It's unlikely that the landlord can consent to a search of the tenant's personal belongings. If items had been abandoned, the scenario might be different. But this is not the case here. It seems they're just continuing to rifle through the property for purposes consistent with what we've already seen. Probably nothing to do. Could we tell him to get out? That's still a girl purse. Here's one thing you need to do before buying anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon sad, until you watch bro. this first. Watch it's this. Crazy. I can show you how to get the sweetest deals online when you shop from major retailers like... The hell? Can't even find my mouse. Where my mouse at? There it is. It's crazy to me because yeah. just everything just seems so unprofessional. Like, these are bums off the street. <laughs> They're not really <laughs> displaying any type of character, <laughs> skill set. I don't know. I guess experience can't be displayed in a sense, you know, uh, tenure, but these are just average folks doing petty crimes. You know what I mean? And uh, it just kind of shows, I don't know, it puts it in a certain light in terms of who are we employing as police officers. <laughs> like, this is wild to me. I'll check these out. So unprofessional, bro. Clowns. Oh, 
Oh, it's GNC. Dang. Thought I hit some pills. Empty. I want to check it was dark. She thought she hit the jackpot. That's the pistol. Mm. Okay. He said, mm hmm. Yeah, we got it. There. Dior. Is it? This is about last night. <laughs> Please. Nah. Sure would hate to sanitize it. You still in here? You find something else? Oakley glasses. Like they got everything in a good spot. Got it. What's all this? Yeah. 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 Okay, what's in here? Oh. Ray Bands. Okay. Oh, what's in here? She over here just talking to herself like oh, it's a game. It oh, what's in here? Hold on. Wait. Clean it out. The thing is, it's possible that there could have been grounds for some of the seizures the constables made because drugs were found. However, they didn't follow any constitutional procedures, mm. and it was obvious they weren't seizing items in the Fourth Amendment sense, but rather taking them as a predatory action. And they might have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for Laquenda's pesky body camera. However, the constables may have stronger legal ground for removing the firearms from the property, but the issue is still complicated. The officers have a right to be on the premises as the eviction process gives them the right to enter and remove the renter and their property. Additionally, the landlord can usually consent to entry. At that point, anything found in plain sight that indicates criminal activity can be pursued legally. This could rapidly escalate to probable cause. However, proper procedure would have been to call in for a telephonic warrant, listing the items seen to be seized, along with a probable cause statement. But even if some of the items were collected legally, the constables <laughs> can't leave the scene with their treasures just yet. There's still the tenant to handle. Okay. Yeah, that's cocaine, weed. So... Alright, so I don't know about any of this. But this you're the owner of the house. It's you're gonna be all on you. Alright. So put it on me. Do you Where is Joe? That's what we asked him. Did you find it in my room? You went through my drawers. I thought uh, you well, saw my vibrator. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, well, the drawers were open. I didn't see mm. any vibrator. We're talking about this. I don't want We're not here. I don't want room. to have to take you to jail for this. Like, they don't even know what they're saying, bruh. You know what I mean? Uh it's just interesting to me. A lot of people, a lot of cops aren't. They're just there with the badge and the gun, bro. Like, they didn't break down. They didn't even let her know her rights. They didn't, I mean, I don't even know if that's procedural, but they didn't break down any process into a certain aspect of the investigation or what they're even looking for. Uh, last time I checked, an eviction is an eviction. Like, <laughs> I don't know if that deems rights to go through property and all this other stuff and obviously we know they stole things but at least go about it they didn't even go about it in a logical or sensical way bro it's just so dumb like they just sound retarded right. excuse my language they sound I don't dumb know. right now i obviously now, didn't even know it was in the house what about the other drugs what other drugs okay. if she's saying she doesn't know what's in the house why are you consistently asking about whether the drugs are hers one she's clearly not aware two she's denying the fact it's that simple but people are, okay. okay it's just like the line of questioning is so dumb like i know there was cocaine in the house mm -hmm. and other marijuana as well yeah it's about large large quantity like felony type quantity so uh, cocaine uh marijuana with baggage, so that means yeah. somebody was actually distributing. Yeah, distribution. It was from this house. So, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Hmm. But put it on me. I'm the owner. The constables convince the tenant to move away from the residence as sirens approach. Are they coming for me? 
um, they just, come, they just come in for. Okay. I can get my driver's license out. Um, like they don't even sound knowledgeable. Do you hear my point? They're, it's um. Well, they're. Uh, well, the cocaine's yours. We found a lot of cocaine. Big cocaine, large cocaine. You, like, you know what, I'm saying? <laughs> what are they saying right now, bro? They're just not speaking with any intent. It's just like they're just talking. It just sounds goofy to me, bro. Please let me know what town or part of Texas this is at, so I don't move there, bro. I don't want to. Like, if this is what my law enforcement looks like, damn. It's over. You don't have to run. What are they doing? I don't know. Well, why are they running? Coke? Because they saying it's guns. And, we gotta get it AR up and stuff. I don't know. The constable Nobody seems sound to know anything. Nervous to have another law enforcement agency pulling up, likely worried that the focus will be on them rather than the resident. But as is becoming typical for this case, all doesn't go as expected. Hey, step back, get back, Stop. get Stop. back. I'm trying to talk no, no. to my Listen daughter. Listen, Y'all get back. Listen to me. You're being detained. You're, You're not, not going to walk arrested. over there. Time okay. To I don't do anything. We don't, don't so, want to have to do this. They're not even doing nothing. I'm not going anywhere. I'm talking to my daughter. You're being detained. Give me your phone. Okay, I'm right. Give me your other hand. Give me the other hand. Turn around. Give me your other hand. The presence of drugs and firearms escalates the eviction to a criminal matter, meaning that detaining the renter is legal in the interest of preventing evidence destruction and access to weapons. An actual arrest would be legal too, as they are able to articulate reasonable suspicion. With this excitement taking place, the constables were likely hopeful that attention would not turn on them, and it didn't for 10 whole months after the eviction. Dang. It was only in November of 2021 that the accidentally filmed body cam footage came back to haunt the sticky-fingered constables. As it turns out, the resident had discovered that several items were missing from the home shortly after the eviction was carried out, and filed a report in February, according to an affidavit. In addition, it's been reported that accusations led to arrests, though it's unknown exactly when these accusations surfaced. It was in October, according to the affidavit, that everything finally caught up with them. The Smith County DA's office gave Texas Rangers a USB drive that contained some rather him, incriminating baby. body camera out. footage associated with the case, and it was all downhill from there. Uh -huh. Laquinda Banks, whose body cam was recording, was approached first. After being read her Miranda rights, she's confronted with the footage she took documenting the theft in <laughs> progress. She's going to have to do some quick thinking if she plans to <laughs> deny <laughs> her <laughs> guilt. Your body cam got turned on like old students. So you know that, right? Yes. You do now. When you thought you had it on and turned it off, they actually turned it on. Yeah, I know. I saw the both lights. Come on, bro. When somebody's caught, they just don't want to admit it. Yeah, I know. Uh, I meant to do that. Like, bro, come on. <laughs> so you, you're trying to tell us you meant to record yourself. Is that what you're trying to say, baby? She said, yeah, I know. Hey, bro, you just got found out. It's that simple. Relax. I don't think you know what I'm talking about. Bro. No, like when I thought that you, you're saying when I thought that it was off, it was on. Yeah, because your response sounds stupid. You didn't know. If you knew, you would have turned it off. That's got to hurt. Then you got to look real stupid. Said, take that. Huh? I said, take that. He did. Keep watching. He said, keep what Don't worry about it. We got you. Keep watching. Yeah. Hold on. So, where did all this stuff go? The stuff 
The only thing that I saw that I wanted for myself was a pair of sunglasses and a, a little watch. Before we left, I put it back because I knew it was wrong. It's it's crazy when you when people get like caught, they tend to uh, just not tell the truth. <laughs> like um, I don't know, it's just human instincts, a certain reaction within within us that just makes us. You just gotta BS, bro. He said she. Well, I didn't really feel like I wanted it because I knew I knew it was the wrong thing to do. But uh, I just took a little of something. It wasn't that much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we try to curb the extent of what we did, the extreme. We try to make it seem less, or we try to deny <laughs> human nature, bro. Said y'all have returned everything to the homeowner. They shipped me back there, but she didn't get any bullets. It wasn't on that paper. Mm -hmm. Sound like you lying. She get the the AirPods back. Um, nobody took any AirPods. Well, huh? What shoved in your shirt with those bullets? AirPods? Note that LaQuinda denies taking any AirPods, even as the footage replays her putting an AirPod box into her shirt. This doesn't exactly make for a sturdy defense. So is this a normal? Y'all just rummage through stuff? And... This was my second one. I mean, since he found dope, I mean, I'm... He said my second one. That's what she's hitting houses. Be looking for. I mean, I've never been in one this I, big. No, no, I don't understand shoving stuff in your shirt. Oh, no. Not is that a normal course of action? No. Not and that's why I had So when did you put this stuff up? It was, um, I don't know how long the video is, but it was shortly um, before her arrest. Note that there's no footage of LaQuinda taking anything back into the house before the tenant was arrested. In addition, the footage doesn't appear to skip or it show any indication lying. that the camera had Digging been turned off deep. for a while. She would also later claim that she felt forced to participate in the theft by her colleagues and okay. feared she would get fired if she refused to participate. Okay. We'll leave the validity of that claim up to you. No At least until we reveal what the jury thought. No the next constable to be questioned was Derek Holman, the owner of the car used uh, to hide the stolen goods. Eric, I'm arrested. Really? When did they learn how to use her body cam? So I'm still what are we stealing? What are we stealing? We got you, bro. Don't deny. I'll show you the video. Okay. Sure. Oh, he got read his rights. Y'all went in to do that rid of possession? Ha ha ha, he said she don't know what she was doing, bro. But we got you. So you know what I'm talking about. She got slipped everything, stick it in her pocket. She can understand that, bro. Just like it. She got After you, bro. Body, she's gonna put it in your vehicle. Her stupidity got you caught. Your stupidity got you caught, actually, because you was dumb enough to make the choice. Y'all all work together. Hey, she, she concealed it in your vehicle with your permission. Your help. Go ahead and take it. She concealed the stolen stuff. Even when she steals stuff upstairs, she walks down the stairs and we go. She got a little fatter. Touch it. She got already put it. So you you letting her store all the stolen stuff in your car? At Go Auto, yeah, bro, you know still car in insurance on. can be expensive. The good news is it doesn't have to be. Go Auto helps you save more money on car insurance. Got her to go get inside the armor. So now she's storing stolen stuff in your car. Because you tell her to. Derek was likely surprised by the arrest, given that he'd already spoken to investigators several days before. Uh, sorry, Paul, like I talked to you earlier. Uh, we're looking at a... Uh, and I think on, it looks like January 26th, I believe. Uh, Y'all sort of rid of possession. Uh, Y'all initially turned it over to Tyler. Yes, sir. Okay. 
and all that. Uh, and y'all removed some stuff from the house. Right? Yeah, yeah. Which was, uh, we just looked for any knives or firearms. Okay. So there's a few firearms that we uh, And I think. It's just a funny feeling, bro. I mean, you know, I got my days and times of being a liar and a thief. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know nobody perfect, bro. But I remember when I was just getting into trouble. You know what I'm saying? And it's a it's a funny feeling when you get caught, cause you always think you're smarter than um, whatever powers that be or the law or anything that uh, can help hold you accountable. Then when you get caught, you feel real dumb, real stupid. Yeah, the constable said that she thanks and she got to she knew where the I guess the list of the stuff that y'all took mm -hmm. and later returned to her. Yeah, see, she's saying like there's $300, there's an iPhone 8, open sunglasses, jewelry, four bottles of perfume, an iPhone 8. I believe y'all. It, it was a moving truck that she called that's there. Yeah. To move. Oh, uh, that, yeah. Did you see anybody take any money, an iPhone 8, Oakley sunglasses, jewelry, Chanel perfume? iPhone X, Nike shoes, AirPods, no sir. iPhone no. 12, MacBook, MacBook. We know where the money went. That was three thousand dollars. We know where that's at. It's seized. Yes, sir, not at all. This likely struck investigators as questionable, considering that this was Derek's response when he saw LaQuinda come downstairs with a bunch of goods secreted away in her shirt. Can we go sit down and rest a little bit? Oh, yeah, I need to go sit down and rest. Yeah, go sit down and rest a little bit. <laughs> we got a little, little fat over there. Yeah, yeah. Trying to find a pocket. <laughs> Derek is also the one who checked to see if LaQuinda's body camera was off and failed to notice it wasn't. This, along with the fact that the stolen items were hidden in his car, doesn't make him look too good. However, his unwavering story that he had absolutely no involvement in the incident would fare well for him, as you're about to see. Finally, police approached Smith County Precinct 1 Constable Curtis Trailer Harris, who was the highest ranking officer suspected to be involved in the theft. Mm. Before we get started, you know you're under arrest, right? Yes. You don't have any gun or anything like that? No. Let me just... After reading Curtis's rights, the investigators sit him down to watch the footage from LaQuinda's body cam. You said take that. Okay. No, I said this. You said take that. Oh, yeah, I said you take everything in there because they had cocaine. Well, that's normally how y'all take everything. Do you see me taking anything? Yeah. yeah. I was say, it looks like one person's on the speech And I don't pay no attention to her. You see me doing my job. Like LaQuinda, Curtis insists that everything taken from the house was returned and even makes a cursory attempt to locate the missing bullets. But as you can likely predict, they were nowhere to be found. Curtis, LaQuinda, and Derek were all accused of felony theft and official oppression, a misdemeanor. But despite the identical charges, each case was decided differently. After being found guilty, Curtis received the heftiest punishment. Perhaps because of his higher rank, he was sentenced to five years of probation and fine $10,000. If he violates his parole at any time, he will be required to spend two Dang. years in jail. He's currently appealing the oppression charge, and the case is pending. LaQuinda was also so found guilty and placed on what? probation, although she only received 18 months. The felony theft charge against her was dropped when she pleaded guilty and, as a result, she was only convicted of the oppression charge, which is a misdemeanor. While on the stand, LaQuinda also stated that she was embarrassed and remorseful to have taken part in the crime. Finally, Derek Holman, whose car was used to transport the stolen goods, was found not guilty on all charges when a jury decided there was reasonable doubt of his involvement. After all, there was no footage of him removing anything from the house personally. Of the three constables suspected, He's the only one to avoid criminal charges. Nice. However, Curtis, LaQuinda, he and Eric it, have all since resigned from their jobs as constables. So they all resigned. Dang, I thought, you know, that they was going to get, like, fired or something, let go. But that's crazy, bro. That's a crazy one, man. Let me know y'all thoughts on this one in the comment section. That's Ewu Body Tis the season to love the way you look uh when crooked cops realize they've been caught man misdemeanor that's a slap on the wrist comment down below man peace love prosperity we'll catch y'all in the next video we out